you're right there, YouTube, it is Crackoon again, bringing you another gameplay, <laughs> commentary man, we're here again, bringing you some more Modern Warfare 3, like I do, gonna be playing a ground war domination on the map Sea Town, using the AK-47, dual attachments, red dot sight, silencer, sight of pro, hardline pro, marksman pro, got flash grenades, frag grenades, the stinger secondary, Boom! Getting on with it. Kill streaks, precision airstrike, reaper, pave load. That's all you need to know. Raping like I do, bringing you an AK gameplay. Oh uh, man, like I've said many times before, I love the AK in Modern Warfare 3. Shit is a beast, except I get a failed air and I almost kill myself with a grenade. But sometimes that shit just happens. Sometimes you'll just fail and you won't really know what to do about it, except luckily survive and that's what happened there. So, seriously, I did think I was about to die from that grenade there because... When you're coming up them ladders from behind, if you get a ricochet back, and then the guy was climbing up the ladders in front of me, seriously, I thought I was done. But uh, that's just the way it is sometimes. But uh, anyway, moving on. Uh, sorry about not bringing you some gameplay, commentary, whatever you want to say yesterday. I mean, I've always seen myself as kind of a versatile commentator, and what I mean by that is that I don't really need much preparation in which to get a commentary done, and I don't really need to... I don't need a lot of time, you could say, to actually get a commentary actually like done, you know, as if I'm talking to you now. I'll, I'll work it out for you anyway, but if I'm speaking for about 10 minutes, I'm doing the commentary itself for 10 minutes. Then I've got like 5 minutes of getting it rendered into my editing software, or like getting it started to render, if you understand what I'm saying like that. So 5 minutes of preparation with the editing. And then, boom, you press render, and then what? You wait a couple of hours, or an hour, or depending on how long. You wait that while, and then, uh, pretty much you got yourself a commentary at the end, and you just upload it. But, overall, it probably takes me around, on, well, this is like an average, about 20 minutes to half an hour to get the whole commentary to begin to get rendered. And then, once it's, like, started rendering, and once it's done after that, it's pretty much a piece of piss, really, because all you've got to do is upload it, and then... Even then, you just leave the upload to finish itself off and what have you. So, it's pretty easy all in all, if you ask me. But, uh, I don't know, there are them rare occasions in which I don't even have, like, the spare half an hour to even be able to do the comms. So, that's what kind of what happened yesterday. And it's all around, you know, the festive holiday season. Whatever you want to say like that. Uh, I know most of my, well, both of my holiday, like, wishes were kind of, uh, tra -la 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 but uh, I don't know. I hope you all had a good holidays. I hope you all stayed safe. Everything like that. Have fun. Spend time with your family. Get everything you wanted. And mainly, most of all, just uh, learn really the value of uh, the value of Christmas from me, Father Tom. I don't even know what that was. But uh, I don't even know who the fuck Father Tom is. And I was going to do. Uh, I don't know what is it. Is it called Scrooge or something? I don't know. Whatever is it. What day is it, old boy? It's Christmas Day, sir. Go down to the shop and buy me a turkey. You know, that kind of... What's it called now? Is it Christmas Carol or something? I don't know, whatever. I'm getting completely off the fucking point here because it's not even Christmas anymore. So, uh, New Year's to come and everything like that. Looking forward to New Year's. But, uh, I don't know. A little bit about the gameplay. Uh, well, not really a little bit about the gameplay. Just a short tad about this game and current state at the moment. Uh, I've not played Modern Warfare 3 in two days since Christmas. Uh, well, no, I've had to play it on Christmas Day. So, well, if I don't play it today, it'll be two days. So, I don't know, man. I've not been touching on Modern Warfare 3. Battlefield 3 is where I've been uh, spending most of my time, well, gaming anyway, at the moment. And, I don't know, I've been playing a little bit of Farza Far as well. Farza Far is a beast game. I've always liked the Farza series. Never really got into it that much, like in the previous games. But what I've kind of understood now, or what my kind of, well, what my understanding is of it now is... Generally, what they've done is, as the series goes along, it's kind of like what COD does and what any kind of game, ongoing gaming series does is, the games progress and they constantly have to re-alter the status of the game to make it more noob-friendly as to allow people to be able to uh, essentially drop in and out of the game and generally bring a new crowd to the game that necessarily wouldn't have been interested in the game previously, like what COD does and how it makes it noob-friendly. Fars has done exactly the same thing because I remember Farza being an absolute heart one wild beast to tame and now it's kind of become some easy little like house cat or something like that and 
I don't know, man. It's seriously, it's just so easy, mate. I've been playing like season play and whatever you want to say like that, like well tar something like that, mate. I've not, I've not come, uh, I've not come last in a single race. Oh, well, I don't know. I was gonna, how could I say that then? I was gonna say I've not come first, but that's not. It's the opposite of that, really. I've never not come first, if that makes sense. No, nah, that does make sense. I've never not come first in a race so far, and. I've like I've literally had to restart a race once because I fucked up and that was it. That was like the only fuck up me and I don't know man, the game's just so easy but it's definitely worth giving it a try out. Let me know in the comments actually if you want to see some uh, gameplay of that. I know it's something a little bit different and everything like that, you know. Fars, uh, it's not really out there in the whole YouTube exposure land and shit like that but... Uh, let me know if you want to see some gameplay once I get some like pretty sick cars and shit like that. I don't want like... Get bringing your gameplay of me fucking going about the place in like a punto or something like that. That'd just be stupid. So, let me know if you want to see some uh, Forza gameplay down the line. But as for seeing Battlefield 3 gameplay, I'm working on it. I don't know, man. I mean, like I've said, well, I've only done a few Battlefield comms before. In fact, I've only done one. But uh, I've only done one before, and what I said in that is the same scenario as what's going down now. Anyway, is that the games are extremely long and. To, well, funnily enough, kind of touching on back what I was saying before about, like, you know, taking time to render and everything like that. That'll be a good half an hour uh, time, probably, to work out how to render it and shit like that. So, I don't know, unless I can get a really short TDM gameplay, but TDM isn't my main focus at the moment. I'm just, you know, going into, like, the, uh, what is it, Conquest and Rush and, you know, that kind of shit. And just essentially just, like, enjoying the game and just having fun with it and then... Not even worrying about getting gameplays for it and everything like that. Because that's the interesting thing with COD, right? I'll go I'll go and play COD and I'll have fun playing COD. It just so happens that I'll end up getting a shitload of rape gameplays. Where I just absolutely like terrorise people. And then I can just like literally just save them gameplays. Because I'll probably already be recording it live from a PVR. And then the scenario is with Battlefield is... I'll just go over to play Battlefield purely for fun. I'll have fun with the game. But I necessarily won't always do that good. Because there'll be the times where I'll like go 1 and 9 and shit. And you just, I don't know, I just don't really care. But I was more interested in exploring and like learning the game instead of like getting kills. So I will end up going like 1 and 9. And it doesn't make a difference to me. It's like, I've explained it to a few people before. I don't know whether or not I've said it in a commentary though. But, uh... Scenario is, uh, well, no, wait, well, hang on, I'm gonna get myself confused there. Uh, I, d I don't know, wait, the scenario is, right, it was, a. Uh, no, I'll explain it to you, right, I'm gonna get myself on track, crack. Jesus, I'm getting confused there. But, uh, essentially, right, with last year, with Black Ops, I had Black Ops to pay for fun, and then I would get content for YouTube, tra la 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 On the side part of that, I had Homefront, which I just like, you know, if I couldn't be bothered playing COD, but I wanted to play a first-person shooter, I'd just go have some fun with Homefront. Same scenarios passed over to this year, except it's Modern Warfare 3, or go have fun playing Modern Warfare 3. End up getting a load of rape content for YouTube and what have you like that, but I go and play Battlefield, and I'll just have fun playing Battlefield, and I won't necessarily worry about getting any content of any sort, but... Let me know as well in the comments if you want to see Battlefield 3. Because, I mean, I don't know, man. I've still got pure uh, pure COD gameplays to last me for, like... Uh, I don't know. If it did an upload a day, I'd have enough to last me for about five months, maybe more. So, literally, half a year of the game's release, I've got me covered for gameplays. So, that's pretty interesting, really. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to stop playing the game, but... Like I said, sometimes I just get fixated on playing Battlefield 3 and, well, I'm getting playing other games and that's just where I am at, at the moment, so. I don't know, you got to take it away. There's something interesting about this gameplay, though, is that I, uh, I don't think I get the Pavlo once at all the entire game. I managed to just get extremely unlucky for the entire game and never seem to pick up the Pavlo. We always pick up the Precision and the Reaper. But uh, I never get myself around to the Pavlo, which is interesting, really, because I didn't really notice that until now. Like, when I'm watching it back now, I'm just, like, looking at it like, hmm, I've just been killed, like, three times, like, off my Pavlo consecutively, pretty much. And I don't know, it's just a pretty fucked up scenario. It's weird how you don't notice that shit until afterwards. But still, I managed to do an absolute rape score. But, uh, 
and then they get bullshitted. Look at that for a spawn. Look at that. Literally, I spawn there. He spawn there. I throw a fucking frag onto A. And they're, they're, they're already there shooting me in the back. Ah, uh, man. The spawn system is still jacked in this game. But there's not much really you can do about it. But anyway, that's the end of the gameplay. Slash commentary. I went 49 to 5. Uh, shame I didn't hit 50. If I hit the pave low, I would have probably hit 50. But uh, that's all I've got to say for now. And uh, peace.